Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing something a little bit different. So I actually picked up a subscription of Squirrel Box. So this is an art subscription box. I've always said I've never really been a fan of the book ones because it feels like you're spending a lot of money and you probably get stuff from fandoms you're not a part of or me personally. There's always loads of stuff of books I've either never read or don't really care about. And then, you know, you get the book and it's like, mm, do I care? Do I want the book that comes in there? But our subscription box, this was 15 quid with free shipping, so it's not too bad. But I'm probably going to be able to use what's in here for any multitude of other things. So I thought I'd give it a go and I thought I'd give it a film and see what I've come up with. So yeah, this is February's one and we're gonna open the box and hopefully do some sort of art thing with it. So here we are at my computer slash art desk. We've got all the essentials. So apparently this is a new design. I got an email from them. It's like a new box. It used to be rectangular, it's now square. It's got a tab pull thing. Makes life easier. So let's have a look what's going on. So the first thing I see in here is a little book that says create more, plain paper, in a page is 100 GSM, so not great but alright, pocket size, that's cool. Here's all the things in here but first we've got, looks like it was made with glitter before it became a print, which I'm glad about because I don't want glitter everywhere. Yeah, Rob Draper. So next up we've got some of this, I'm guessing this is like that craft card you get. Which is cool. I've got other colour papers, but I don't really think I've got any craft card sort of paper. Here we go. So this is the sticker. They have a sticker in every single one. That's pretty rad, actually, to be fair. Don't know which way around it's meant to be, but it's cool. I like it. This is the menu, which I'll look at in a second because it tells you everything about the things. Then we have some Faber-Castell liners. Got 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and a brush pen. I've never used Faber-Castell, I always use the Unipin Fineliners. We have a 4B pencil, it says Squirrel Box and Viking, so I'm guessing it's made by a company called Viking, which is pretty cool. This is probably one of the reasons I wouldn't get this subscription box every month though, because I'm pretty sure they put a pencil in every single one, and it's like, who out of us that even slightly like art doesn't have a million pencils? But, you know, one is fine, that's pretty cool. We have a Stick It Precision Glue pen. Which is pretty cool, I don't have a glue pen, so this could definitely be used for all sorts of stuff. Oh dear, I spoke a little bit too soon about the glitter because we have some gold dazzle, 5 grams of uh, glitter. <laughs> Excuse me. Pinky, would you piss off? Right, it's plant based though, so that's always good, it means it can be recyclable. It's not just going to get thrown into the seas. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> a chocolate coin. And then last but not least we've got a white gel pen, Uniball, Signo Broad, and again, if you quite like art, you've probably already got one of these, so yes. So basically February, it says this month's box contains everything you need to take something found, blank or destined for a landfill, and turn it into art with a little added sparkle. So something I've always said to myself, if I ever got a book box, I would add all the supplies up and see if it's worth the price, so I'm going to do it with this as well. So what I didn't realise is this is made by the same people that do the black 2.0 and 3.0, which is cool. So you can't get this size on their website, but basically 10 of these would be £20. So let's say that's £2. These are just under £7 on Amazon, so let's just say they come up to £9 together. The white pen is around £2. It can be a little bit more, a little bit less, but we'll say 2 which means those together is 11 this is like £2.75 on Amazon, so just under £14 there. And the whole box together is £15, so if you're including the craft paper, the print's like an extra, and then the little pocket book, then yeah, just about adds up to the £15. So now I'm going to try and figure out what to do with this. So yeah, first of all here, I'm just swatching everything out. You can see, it's easy, I don't need to go on about it. I will say something about the price first though again. The little uh, scroller box thing, the menu thing, has price points on it. And it puts the pens at 11 50 when they're like £7 on Amazon. And the white gel pen says it's £4. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of them hiking up the prices. 
on the little menu to make it look like you're getting more for your money because really you're not this box altogether came up to about 15 pound um as you can see here i'm just testing out supplies but it's not as if it's something that i haven't really used before stuck it in that book just to use it but yeah this makes no sense to anything let's just move on so here i was doing some thumbnails yeah for me this box wasn't very inspiring at all it's just a load of things that if you're an artist or like art in any sort of way you've got already fine liners everyone's got white gel pen everyone's got glitter nobody wants i literally threw away some glitter i probably had for about 20 years the other month so yeah not very inspiring but i tried to come up with some ideas the first one as you can see is like a planet type thing and the second one here i don't know i was drawing person i quite like drawing people again not really inspiring but trying to trying to figure out what i can do with this the third one this looks an absolute mentalist but basically it was like a trash can with loads of rubbish flying out but the rubbish is made of glitter so it looks pretty or something yeah probably definitely didn't work so moving along from that this last one is like a flower design just kind of thrown together like i say couldn't really think of anything fun to do with this challenge i was kind of hoping to get some art supplies that i wouldn't have had maybe posca pens or some sort of paints or markers or anything that's sort of different and you can try out basically if this box was an october box for inktober it would have been fine you're getting your ink pens you're getting pens but just for a february box it just didn't feel like anything special or different or interesting to use i feel like i'm just moaning this whole video so here we are going in i decided to do the planet one so i went in with a pencil first draw out a few circles and then went in with the pens i didn't really put a lot of thought into this as you can tell because i wasn't inspired but i do actually quite like this planet one it's kind of fun I like the way I did the planets, I tried to give them a bit of texture, give them a little bit of roundness. You can't really tell at this bottom one because it's quite dark, but the other two, you will see, use a bit of hatching, tried to, tried to give it some depth. So, as you can probably tell by the way I'm talking about this, I'm probably not going to be getting an art subscription box again. I do own a lot of different art supplies, but I thought it might be fun just to give it a go, like it says at the beginning. It was only £15, it's not too bad, but it just, it just didn't live up to my expectations. I was hoping for something a little bit different, a little bit random in there, a little bit more inspiring, but instead I've got pens that I've got a million of really here we go here's the sort of shading i did i quite liked the uh the pencil with the black on this colored paper though i think it works quite well like with the ring around the top one and this bit here where it's going a little bit a little bit of shape and a little bit of definition and then because i did that so quickly and didn't really think about it i thought hey flip it over do the other design on the back so that's what i did i threw this together honestly i like the look of the thumbnail more I kind of threw the thumbnail together and then I did this and thought, ah, oh, I wish it looked more like the original one. But it's not too bad. It's just a flower design. Here we go. Little little wiggly thing sticking out. Don't really make sense. But hey. So moving on back to the back one, I went in with the white and did loads of dots. Obviously it's the sky, it's the planets, I wanted loads of stars. And I don't know if you can tell here, but there is the swishy bit. Here we go, going in with the glue to put the glitter down. So I did actually end up quite liking this one, even though I kind of threw it together. I didn't really put a lot of effort into it, but I did actually really enjoy how this one turned out. Side note, this glitter feels so nice to touch. Other than the fact that it gets everywhere and it's horrible, 
just putting your fingers in it and dipping in it is so soft and nice. Maybe it's because it's natural instead of made of plastic. But yeah, I quite like that one. I think that one turned out well. I had to leave it for a little while because this one, I go crazy. I also, uh, my camera went off, but I had glue all over my fingers. So yeah, you just bang straight there. Boom. It's not the best. It's a little bit of a mess. There's little gaps in it, but you know, a little test in the back, it's fine. So this one's a bit of a mess and it's getting glitter everywhere still. I can't really touch it. I've just left it on the side. There's glitter on my floor. I've already hoovered up before. That's the thing. So yeah, I don't know if you enjoy this video. This is my favourite one. I really like that one. But if you did enjoy it, then let me know down below. I would like to do more art videos, but maybe actually put more effort into thinking about what to do first rather than just chucking it together like this one, maybe. Tell me down below. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of the others. And if you continue to enjoy it, then please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I will see you in a few days with another bookish video. Bye. Mr. Mortlake, officer. Dr. Simon Mortlake, Broughton Psychiatric Hospital.